Now at 4.30, he is best known as a mixed martial arts fighter, but now Tito Ortiz has a new title, city councilman. Voters elected Ortiz to one of three open seats on the Huntington Beach City Council. NBC4's uh, Vicki Vargas spoke with a conservative candidate and vocal supporter of President Trump. If politics were a mixed martial arts fight, then Tito Ortiz just completed a body slam. The 45-year-old MMA champ garnered more votes than 14 other candidates running for Huntington Beach City Council. The top three were declared winners. I want to fight for the city, and uh, that's all I had to do, step up, and I stepped up, and it was just like a snowball that got pushed off the side of a mountain. And it got bigger and bigger and bigger to an avalanche. The Huntington Beach bad boy, as he calls himself, is a product of this coastal town, a graduate of the local high school where he started wrestling. So where do we start? Now he's a multimillionaire law and order conservative who says his first term will focus on what he contends will make Huntington Beach safe again. With the homeless situation, uh, you know, the roads, the parks, I've lived here my whole life and I safety here is number one for my children, for my community. It is not a coincidence his campaign motto echoes that of President Trump. Ortiz appeared on The Celebrity Apprentice in 2008. We're win this. On election night, Ortiz was overjoyed with his victory. But he believes the presidential race has not been decided, saying publicly there should be a national recount, even though there has been no evidence to support vote fraud. It's my opinion, but let's do it right. Let's do it for the safety of this country and keep the integrity of this country. That's our number one. According to an article in the publication Politico, Ortiz has been a proponent of the far right wing conspiracy group known as QAnon. His campaign manager says while he is curious, he is not a member of the organization, that because of his celebrity, his opinions have been misconstrued. As a first time politician, he will be in the minority. Five of the seven council members are Democrats. Ortiz is one of two Republicans. And when it comes from the heart and it comes for the future, of our community, I'm all in. He and the other two council members will be sworn in December 7th. In Huntington Beach, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.